CataractCoach.com. Finishing this case will be quite difficult. Here's why. You think you'll just get this last bit of cortex, right? Let me show you. So we'll speed up the case, do it nice and fast here. You can see we place marks on the limbus for a torque lens, anesthetic going inside the eye. Everything looks pretty good so far. Filling up the anterior chamber with our dispersive viscoelastic. Still looks good, very routine case. Patient's a little hyperopic with a lot of astigmatism. Placing our phaco incision there on the steep axis. You can see those three dots in the cornea show our steep axis. Creating the capsorexis. You know what? The capsule looks good, nice and tight. No evidence of loose zonules. So we create a nice round capsorexis. We're looking good. So where's the challenge going to be? Why is this going to be so difficult and challenging? A little bit of hydrodissection. I'll see a flu few fluid waves going across. That looks good. There's our nucleus. It prolapses partially out of the bag. Hey, we'll take it. No big deal. More dispersive viscoelastic to protect the cornea. Phaco probe going in the eye. We're going to use our chopper. We're going to chop, chop, chop this nucleus. So probe there. Nucleus is chopped in half. Each half is then emulsified. So you're still wondering, okay, where's the challenge? Now, part of the challenge, the minor part of the challenge, is that it's a very high-profile patient in our practice, and it's a very important um, patient for us to get a beautiful outcome. The challenge is the patient hasn't told you, and you find out only afterwards that the patient was in an accident where he got hit in the eye, and the patient has sustained a little bit of zonular loss. Now, not much. In fact, when we created the caps rex, it was totally normal. So let's watch now during cortex removal. So nucleus is out, that one very efficient. We're showing you the whole case. Nothing hidden from you. Nice and easy on the cortex removal, but what do I notice? As we remove the cortex, the AC seems shallow. The posterior capsule keeps coming forwards. So it's really difficult to access everything. The capsule bag has collapsed. Why? We have a lot of infusion pressure, but some of the fluid is going through the area of zonular breakage and into the anterior hyaloid face. So now it's collecting some fluid in the anterior hyaloid face. And that little bit of sub-incisional cortex is tough to get out because when we put the phaco eye probe down that area, we end up getting just more infusion going into the anterior hyaloid face. So here comes the eye well. Again, the bag is shallow. So it's very difficult to kind of get this thing dialed in where we want it. So we finally get it into position. And now we can go in and remove the rest of that cortex piece and the viscoelastic from behind the eye well. Now we still have to do our normal techniques of removing viscoelastic from behind the eye well because it's a toric lens. We don't want it to rotate. So we still have that persistent area where there's that sub-incisional cortex. I try to get it out here manually using a cannula, 27 gauge cannula on a 3cc syringe. That helps to loosen it up. And we'll try a little bit more. So what are the other options? Well, you could do a parge plane a stab and try to get out some of the fluid that's accumulated in the anterior hyaloid face. That's one option. You can also do what I did here, which is just increase the infusion pressure and hope that most of that infusion pressure is going to just deepen the AC instead of going behind and causing more fluid to accumulate in the anterior hyaloid face. So again, we're still having a challenge here. Look how shallow the anterior chamber is. Now, the fluid that's left in the anterior hyaloid phase, it'll equilibrate and absorb and be gone within a day or so. So that's no issue of leaving it there. But I don't want to leave the case like this. I don't want to leave the patient with this IOL not in the appropriate position, etc. So now we're going to do a bimanual approach. Get that last bit of cortex out. Don't leave it behind in the eye. Now it's cleaned up. And we still have a nice overlap of the rexus. That looks beautiful. Let's dial in the eye well to the appropriate axis. Again, not easy. So try again. Infusion going in the eye here. And it's tough because the AC is so shallow, but we're just going to nudge the lens around. 
So this is why it's so important to ask the patients ahead of time, have you ever had any trauma to your eyes? Then you can know to expect a challenge like this. So fortunately for us, everything goes beautifully. We finished the case. Everything turned out nice. The patient had a beautiful outcome, was super happy. And we did find out in the post-op period that, yes, he did have that injury that he neglected to tell us about. Here's a little triamcinolone going in the eye. Helps with inflammation control. Plus, we can also make sure that there is no vitreous prolapse through that weak area. A little bit of wrinkle in the capsule also indicates that there's some zional laxity now. So beautiful case that ended well. Boy, it was a challenge for me. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. You can learn a lot, way more material than you have here on YouTube. I dare you, check it out.